Hey guys, welcome to our channel Learn to Win. Today our topic is applications of vector products. After the session, I hope fundamentals of this topic will be clear to you. Before moving ahead, if you are watching us for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon for notifications. So let's start. We know there are two types of vector products. One is cross product and another is dot product. Today we will discuss about its applications. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about perpendicular or parallel vectors. If two vectors are perpendicular, then their dot product will be zero as theta will be 90 degree and cos theta we know is zero. And if two vectors are parallel, then their cross product will be zero because in, in case of parallel, lines theta will be equal to 0 or 180 degree and uh, sine 0 and 180 degree is 0. So let's illustrate this with some examples. Let there are two lines, uh, two uh, vectors a bar and b bar. a bar is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap this one and b is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap this one. Uh, if the a is perpendicular to b as I mentioned earlier, in case of perpendicular uh, vectors, their dot product will be equal to zero. So dot product of these two vectors is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 that will be equal to zero. And if a is parallel to b, then a1 by b1 equal to a2 by b2 equal to a3 by b3. This uh, will hold. Okay. So let's have one example. For what values of A below two vectors are perpendicular, these two vectors, that means their dot product will be zero. So it will be 2 into A plus 3 into minus 4 plus minus 4 into 6, that will be equal to zero. So 2A minus 12 minus 24 equal to zero. 2a minus 36 equal to 0 so a will be equal to 18 understood now we will go to our next example uh, perpendicular one is done so we will discuss now about parallel lines for what value of p and q the below two vectors are parallel uh, parallel means their cross product will be 0 so 6 by 2 will be equal to minus 4 by q will be equal to this p by 3. So first we will solve this two. 6 by 2 is 3. So 3 is minus 4 by q. So q equal to minus 4 by 3. Next we will solve 6 by 2 equal to p by 3 that is 6 by 2 equal to p by 3 so p will be equal to 9 so the final answer is p by q sorry the p equal to 9 and q equal to minus 4 by 3 understood that's it if you like this video give us a big thumbs up by hitting the like button we will be happy to receive your feedback in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Till next video, keep learning, keep winning. Have a nice day. Thank you.